back to the to the start of your relationship with Nikki at Seven Barrows, and I believe it's it's actually ten years ago, roughly, that you first went along to to the yard. Uh, asking to to be included in mm -hmm. in the setup when Barry Garrity and AP McCoy were obviously very much part of the setup uh, at Seven Barrows at that time what was it like when you when you first set foot in there and how easy was it to, to settle in and it was it was great um, David Bass and I started at the same time in the same week uh, and we had an absolute ball you know it was, <laughs> it was hard work you know we I just started as a stable ad you know um, you know, I had to do my, my three or four horses, brush yeah. them, muck them out. Um, and back then we didn't have wheelbarrows, it was all muck sacks. Right. So, you know, it was, it was a bit of graft early in, on a Monday morning. It was, wasn't the pleasant thing to do. <laughs> Proper old uh, fashion. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Corky kept us at it. But uh, no, it was, it was a great place to be. Yeah, it was two, uh, autumn 2009, yeah. And you, you gave up university for this, did you? I did. Clever chap. Uh, what were you studying again? What was it? Uh, I was studying history and politics. Yeah. History and po politics will serve you well in this game. Yeah, well, you need a bit of that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> How long were you at uni for? I'm about uni six was... weeks. Six weeks? I had a great time, but it just <laughs> wasn't yeah, for me. A great six-week holiday. Yeah, it was in Newcastle as well. And everyone oh. knows like, it's a good party place, isn't it? I yeah. don't know, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good fun. Gosh, six weeks. So, so how did you... How did you tell everyone that that was it? How did you make the decision go about saying, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm done, this is not I for think, me? I think everyone sort of knew that I didn't really want to be there. I, I went to Richard Gibson's in Chantilly right. for my gap year. Um, that sounds like it was fun as well, right? That was hard work. Oh, was it? Yeah, he was a real taskmaster. He's a nice guy though, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, but hard. Yeah, you know. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like step out of line and when he's having a go at you in English <laughs> in front of all the French lads. Yeah. Ooh, because none of them spoke English. Yeah. Um, but it was a great learning curve for me. Okay, so you decided that you went to university, obviously, that lasted six weeks. Mm. So when you went down to, to Seven Barrows, you went to, to Nicky's, what, what were the aspirations, considering that you've obviously now uh, committed to, to horse racing? Just see if I can make it as an amateur and have a good time. Um, and, you know, I, I thought if I could have some good spins until I was 25 and then I could start getting realistic about life, maybe. Huh. Um, but I had, it was a step by step. You know, the, the life of a professional jockey was not really on the cards for me. I didn't really think it was quite something I was going to be able to do. But, you know, I was I, bit by bit and step by step, you know, I suppose you get a bit more belief and, you know, it's just a slow process. And I was definitely took a bit of time for the penny to drop. I, I read somewhere, um, I, I believe your mum said when you were younger, you, you, you didn't want to ride. You needed to ride because you had so much energy and you wanted to do something. Uh, and, and riding was, was the way for you to, to expend that. What, 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 what did she actually mean by well, that? Well, I think I was just a nightmare. <laughs> well, I was going to say, man, he was a pain in the backside. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it means. Um, but no, I used to, I was very lucky that I'm, I'm priv I had a privileged childhood. You know, I had ponies and everything. You would never have guessed. Oh, I know. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was very lucky in that, in that sense. You know, I had the ponies and um, I spent, you know, all my holidays off on a pony and all my weekends. I go hunting at the weekends and oh. things like that. So, uh, no, I was really lucky, but I did love it. But you knew, you always knew you wanted to work with horses. That's yeah, the top yeah, and bottom always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You were go even though you went to university, you knew down, deep down. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, don't you? The same for me. I know from yeah. 14, I, that's all I wanted to do. And yeah. it's hard to think about anything else, isn't yeah. it? Because I sacrificed my football career for racing. And mm. you could have been, you could have been a politician. Could have been a prime minister. We've got a prime minister on the show. God help could us. Have been. God help oh. us. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, glad. Worse. I'm so glad you turned up. Nico was a politician or you as a footballer. Well, it could have been great. <laughs> Good. I'm no, just glad you turned up. We've had to, the fuse have to listen to us two rattle on for two hours. <laughs> Thank God, yeah, we can't. <laughs> but but I, do get, I do understand what you're saying about you know, the, the desire. I mean, obviously, I'm not a, a jockey, but all I wanted to ever do was be involved in, in horse racing, and mm. it, it does consume you. Mm. But when you, when, you, when you did turn up at the yard, I mean, given your, the background, you said it was fairly, fairly privileged. Yeah. Um, how easy was it to, to, to settle in to, to life in the yard at, at Nicky's? Uh, fairly easy enough, you know. Boarding school, although it is, you know, what people think of it, you do have to rub along with everyone because you're put in the same environment yeah. and you get people from all sorts, different countries and everything. So you learn to get along with people. Um, you went, did you, you didn't? You didn't go to boarding school, Martin? No, no. no? But we, <laughs> I did grow up on a large estate. Uh. <laughs> 
knew you were going to uh, I've heard you trot that one out before. Yeah, no, I did. I got Hugo Palmer. Hugo Palmer, that was the one. Yeah. With that. <laughs> I keep a list of the ones that on Apparently, on Hugo, the Hugo responded, uh, I think you'll find far less people on my estate. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mention his silver staircase. Yeah, it's a silver staircase. You got one of them? No, no, no. no. Uh, Bronze. Well. So, so, so boarding school was actually a, a good grounding for you to, I suppose, to go to the... I suppose it is, and also it gives you such structure as well. You know, it's still, it's very regimented and, you know, all those old school yards, you know, Andrew Boardings is, would be the same, wouldn't it? And, yeah. It was... um, you know, it's all fairly military. Yeah. Um, and I guess that's, that's what I, I liked about it. 